What's left for Team Ice to accomplish consistency? I felt like the 3-0 or whatever was just a small stepping stone. I believe in myself, I believe in some of my teammates, and I believe once other people recognize that we're capable, I think they'll get on board too. My name's Rabies, sit back and enjoy. Uh, my name is Fnatic. A lot of you know me as Mitten Kitten or Impervious. My name is my in-game name is Neostorm X. My name is Dennis Van, and I want to be on Twin Galaxies Infinite Crisis Team. Get old. It really does. It does not sure. get old. Yeah. What's your happy thought? It'd be thinking it'd be awesome to get to Infinite Crisis. But let's play. My hat, Rufio. I wore this for you. It's very convincing. Banger! Banger! One of the awesome things about it is that you got a chance to work with Robin Thicke. You know what I mean? It's like. It was Dustin Hoffman, idiot. Oops. Protectors, this is episode seven of the Infinite Crisis Experience here on Twin Galaxies Live, where we're following six exceptional Infinite Crisis players. Their mission, and they have chosen to accept it, is to prove that they are the best. And after a rough start, it looks like they're finally on the way. Last week, they won three matches in a row, dragging their overall win percentage up to 42%, closer than ever before to that bronze prize tier. Now that Rabies is coming back with the team, I think it'll be so great. And all of my interaction with him, he has had a humongous slice of humble pie um, served by your boy, Mr. Fanatic. We're going in today, guys. Hope can be safe, hope can be safe. Let's run. They're still bleeding like fast. crazy. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Good job, Dennis. Thank you. Did Masterminds get DC? Okay. Yeah. Oh no, what happened? I didn't realize what's going on. Yeah, this is unfair. Mega, 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 mega. I'm sad. It's my man. <laughs> a victory is a victory. Mid. You got this. Good job. Whoa. Good game, guys. Great job, guys. It didn't, it didn't feel good winning, you know, and not feeling like we earned it as a team. Um, and so, I don't know, I didn't have the best of spirits after that. I don't know what's going on. My fingers are swelling up by the, by the second, so I'm on anti-inflammatory medication, so I don't know if it's rheumatoid or what, but yeah, I'm doing what I gotta do. The Ice Factor for Game 2 this week, Episode 7, is You Must Win Gotham Heights without firing off a single orbital cannon. No, that's OD. Wow. All right now, all right now. Oh, oh, that's that's okay. OD. I believe in you, Neil. Go to the point, go to the point, go to the point. If he tries to defend it, I'm going to spear him directly in his mouth. What you want, Batman? Star Sapphire's butt. Did you say Star Sapphire's butt? <laughs> yes. That could be a topic conversation if you want. <laughs> He's DC'd! Oh, yeah, daylight like combo! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it! Nice. 2-0! Oh. Let's For go! That crit was OD though. Good job, guys! What? Yeah, in game two, when uh, we had the same exact thing happen, another disconnect, I was like... Now I feel double bad, but I'll take the win anyways. Uh, Neil, you want to be careful. Yeah. Oh, don't, 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 Neil, don't. Oof. That was tough. Good job, guys. Yeah, that was tough. Neil, nice yeah, try, everyone. No, no, that was good effort, everyone. It really was. We we got outplayed. This we, we'll we'll do better. Oh, I already did. It's terribly concerning. I was hoping that he would just like not 
do anything. Like, it's, this is only making the matters worse. I really felt for Neo how he was playing through a lot of pain because I had a migraine myself, but I know Neo is a fighter, so he did what he could. We're sending the same team back to Heights. Mm. Oh, how fun. You guys have a fourth match tonight. Oh. Yeah, we got two down here. Stay on the turret. Yeah, we need to run, 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 run. <sighs> oh no! I don't know what happened there. Five, 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 five. Oh my goodness. What is it? I know. I can't with us. I feel like they're everywhere. Uh, it's still kind of not great. I don't know what to say about the hand injury. I, I'm, I can't stop thinking about it. Cause I, I just hope that it gets better, and I, I'm scared. So what am I gonna do? I don't, I don't even want to talk about it right now. I, I wasn't prepared for this. I want us to prevail, and I will do whatever it takes to, to sit through it and deal with the pain just to get through it. Matt came in and said that we have a fourth match. Um, you know, I was excited about it, even though I was still. Uh, dealing with my hand, I felt like, you know, this is probably our opportunity to redeem ourselves from the last match. You know, I'll do whatever it takes. So, yeah, I, I, I want us to be number one. And, you know, even through pain, uh, suffering, whatever I have to do to get through it, um, I'll do it. So. We played really well as a team. Overall, it's the first episode where there was just no bickering just communication all the time. It is an absolutely commendable effort. Um, I don't feel like we ever really needed to have any of the drama that we ever did have on the team. You know, for him to now really have this humble approach, I feel like these losses don't even feel like losses because I just feel like the team is synergizing now and we'll, we'll be able to do a lot better as a team. Team ISIS is, is going to make its mark.